Hey everybody, how we doing today? So, different kind of video today. Today, we are dealing with our wastes. Um, so, each one of these buckets, they are only uh, about half full. I'll show you real quick here. And in four years of refining, this is what I have left. Um, and the reason for that is whenever I deal with my waste, I evaporate down as much as I possibly can. So why are they in my truck? Why are they in a protective container? I'm bringing it down here and actually paying for disposal. So, uh, reason being is I would rather pay for disposal and have proof that I am responsible in case anything ever comes of it. So, I will uh, get back with you guys in a bit. And just like that, and 50 bucks. My responsibility is done. You know, we can do this at home or we can, uh, you know, have somebody else do it and uh, it takes the uh, responsibility off of your shoulders. And it gives you proof that you did the right thing. Be honest with them, you know. Oh, hold on. Always be honest. Oh, sorry guys. Forgot. Got you laying on my jeans there. Um. Okay. Be honest with what you're doing, where it came from, and uh, they should treat you really nice. I called ahead and uh, said that uh, I had gold refining waste and basically that they were uh, mixed metal hydroxides and I told him I was like, that, you know, most of it's iron hydroxide, there may be some tin, nickel, zinc, but most of it's going to be iron. And, uh, you know, you've got your caustic solution. And he's like, all right, bring it down. And he was just going to have them throw it in the, uh, he was just going to take it with no charge. But I uh, live a county away, so charge me 50 bucks. But that $50 is worth every single penny because I don't have a headache, you know? No worries at all. Now, you know, if police ever come knocking on the door asking about all the chemicals, I can show that they're being uh, being disposed of properly. Um, and well, really, that's about it, guys. I'm hopping on the freeway here, and I don't want to. This is Columbus, so. These guys are scary. We got a mix of drivers. You know, people from all over the United States come here to Columbus. One of the fastest growing cities in the nation. But uh, I don't, you got you take a New York driver, put him next to a Chicago driver, and put a uh, Florida snowbird in front of them. That's what we call the people that retire and go to Florida and come up here. Uh, during the uh, summers uh, you know it's just a scary mix so I'll talk to you guys later and uh, more to come Mike's out of here <laughs> 